Hello everybody, this is a Between the Stars prologue demo. I've been asked to shoot this game off by the game's makers and from the pictures in the video it looks really com competent. I would have done this the last week but I was a bit busy. So let's see what it's all about. Ooh, we have a gender pick. Okie dokie, hello every blokey. Uh, welcome to Martin Zero Zero Zero's blathing channel review. What's it? She said she was going to record this game, but because she's a silly girl who doesn't know how to record and doesn't have time to redo it, I'm going to be doing this for her, and then she'll be editing the video, and everything will be all cookie. So. This here is a review of, uh, well, it's te technically right now it's my first impressions of a demo of a game that is currently in Kickstarter called Between the Stars, as you can see up here. So, we will be playing as, uh, let's play as Jane Scott, why not? So, it is a space action RPG flying around shooting things game, from what I saw. I know very little about it, but uh, it's got pretty good music for the main menu. I quite like it. I mean, it's still going while we're loading. Okay. Alert. Systems damaged. Warp drive pressure increasing. Crew, crew boost, boost warp, warp drive, drive to full power. power. But, but Captain, I said, I said full, full power. power. That's, That's an order. order. I sound so angry. Just a bit more. Warp successful. We've made it. Okay, so where did we make it? My damage analysis. Starting damage assessment protocol. Testing main engines. So we control multiple axes. Let's see, move the mouse wheel up to increase the throttle and move forward, move it down to move in reverse. Okay. So uh, I see power's in the bottom the bottom right corner is the green thing. Uh, uh it wants me to go in reverse. Let me just loop around this. Let's reverse. Moderate damage. Engines operational. Testing navigation systems. Alright, so keep WS held to tilt the ship forward and backwards. Yep. That's how you turn. Okay. It's kind of interesting. Q and E is turning. A and D is rotating. Okay. Navigation systems operational. Testing power systems. Uh, use up power to, ass to assign all energy to weapons. Left to all energy to engine. So it's kind of like Elite Dangerous in that regard. Yep, weapons, engines, and yep, right arrow is to shields. Power distribution correct. Is it correct? Captain, we're detecting warp signatures in the vicinity. We've been followed. Prepare for attack. Behind me. All right then. Hmm. Oh, so it's just right into it. Then. I'm actually really bad with ship combat. Uh, yep, so just destroy these, um, very, very unfortunate Whoa. people. Let's put more power to the engines real quick. Let's wheel ourselves around and put ourselves in reverse. The question is, on which side of the ship are most of our weapons located or does it not matter? I feel like my own ship is getting in my way of looking at things. I see that there is fire incoming with those small projectiles. Slam ourselves into reverse real quick. Now all the front That's how you turn. I want more power to do 
weapons. You know, for this kind of action, I would really like a first person mode. Oh, I forgot you're still alive. Or rather, were. Captain, reinforcements incoming. We need more firepower. For what? Well, I did set more. Three things and three die. My weapons, so let's see who's closest. You. Hey. Or is it you, actually? I think a lot of that's gonna miss. Just turn that way. Oh, that's turn. a pretty explosion. I imagine nuclear shit costs more. Power to shields then. Let's just evade some maneuvers out of here for a second. I think I ran out of power power. Yep. Let's just circle ourselves back around. Who's the lowest on health? You. I want to put more distance between me and them. Come on. Just avoid as many of these as we can. Circle back around on the guy who's mostly wounded. You. We have lost the shield. Oh, if we've lost shields, then more power to it to weapons then. All right. Take the small one out first. But I must inform you that the enemy bypassed our shields. Two casualties confirmed. That's not good. Yeah, I can see that there's a... Oh, we salvage. Okay, so fly close to the ship and place your cursor over it, right? Okay. And then find the red dot. Wait, there it is. I see. So yeah, I, I can see that there's going to be a lot of strategy involved playing this game. Which is good. I'm really good at that. I'm not. I'm really bad at that. I'm good at shooting things. But I am no John Geary. Or Jane Scott. Or, uh, that, that was her name, right? Where was... Oh yeah, there they are. Uh, salvage. Get everything we can get off these ships. It's a very pretty game. Decent amount of work went into this ship model. I like the look of it. Here we go. Now, uh, inventory, right. So, open. May contain credits, materials, blueprints, or weapons. Credits. And materials. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have two corpses. Uh, Inyaki Ramirez uh, served valiantly on the Genesis under orders of Captain Scott, served with dedication and devotion to the Interstellar Republic, will be remembered for his honor and pride. Uh, the specialist Francois 
uh, LeBlanc. Uh, serve valiantly on the Genesis under the orders of Captain Scott. Serve with dedication and devotion to the Interstellar Republic. Will be remembered for honor and pride, of course. Very good. So. System analysis. Critical. Repairs needed immediately. All right. My, what's our current position? We are currently in the Thamus 6 sector. It is on the outskirts of the Interstellar Republic's headquarters. We should be able to reach it using our drive engines. Preparing warp drive. I like the music too. Very, you know, sort of heroic, peaceful. And yeah, I'll access the stellar map in a moment. I just want to get this last bit of salvage. More power to engines. I want to go fast. Also, yeah, wow, our ship only has 16% life left. Barely got through that last engagement then. Right. Let's see. So, click on the Tacit Stellar Sector. We're here. It's there. Warp drive engines damaged. Jump impossible. My. Which is the closest space station in the sector? It's the train station and Terra's port. Okay. Set in the coordinates. Coordinates set. My situation report on Antero's port. Accessing database. This station serves as a crucial hub for business tycoons and mining sector speculators. It has a large port specialized for trade freighters that return full of materials from mining settlements. They also swear they have the best beet soup recipe in the universe. I really like the um, quantum engine high-speed flying thing. Now the ship comes more zoomed out, centered into the screen. And the controls are a little bit different. It's pretty nice. So we're just allowed to go ahead and dock without requesting docking permission, are we? Captain Scott from the Fifth Republic Fleet here. Okay, here we go. We request docking permission. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Receiving coordinates. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. I want to turn the engine down. Want it to be a bit higher than that. How do I? What? Can we just like roll into the dock? Okay, so I'm going to assume. Yeah, this is how we're going to do it. Nearly. Oh, I appreciate that I do not need yeah, to like dock that. myself. I was, gonna, I was assuming that the dock was in that position, and it, I was kind of right. I would appreciate that dock thing being a lot bigger considering the size of my ship. Now then, uh, you discover a great commotion around the freighters on the station. When you exit your ship, you hear shouts from all angles and merchants bidding ever increasing numbers of our merchandise. Your crew and yourself leave the freighters behind and search for a repair workshop. Workshop. Uh, hmm. Find yourself looking at the neon lights when someone bumps into your shoulder. You look down. Ouch, that hurt. The scruffy young woman who begins to collect spanners and metallic objects of all sorts as she... Oh, oh all sorts as she had on her. As she tries to steady herself. Um, well, I will be apologetic. No, it was my fault entirely. Excuse me, Captain. I'm so sorry. My name is Susan. I'm the head of the Pulsar Ship Repair Workshop. What can I do for you? Well, I would like a repair. So you walk together to the bot docking bay where your ship is located. She rubs her eyes incredulously. No way, a KP-564SC warship. It's completely totaled. How did you manage to size deeply? All right, we can do it, but it won't be cheap nor easy. The repair cost highly exceeds your credit account. The negotiating, you agree to handle a series of tasks for her in return for payment. In the meantime, they shall give you a completely operational ship. Well, it's nice of them. Do you know where we can find the transmission room? 
Of course, Captain, there's a transmission bay in the next district over. I can show you the way. Large space stations often have a transmission system highly superior to that of normal ships, allowing for cross-sector communications. We walk through the station until reaching the transmission bay, where you encounter two guards. After identifying yourself, you are allowed to pass and spot the transmission crew, busily sending coordinates and data to nearby stations. You are granted a terminal in order to send the situation report to the Republic. So perform it. Captain Scott here. We're transmitting from the Anteros port station in Sector Thama 6. Captain Scott, we were expecting your arrival two Earth, mi uh, two Earth days ago. I was going to say minutes ago. That was... F wow, don't panic, dude. Okay, so explain the situation. We ran into, we ran into problems. problems. We may have pew pew and pew pewed. Over one sector. Uh, we infiltrated their base and obtained a crucial part of their information that you asked for. But our scientists are still unable to decipher it. During our retreat, we were ambushed by an assault fleet. We thought that we had left them behind when we arrived at the sector, but we were intercepted. I finally managed to finish up the enemy ships, but two of my crew members have lost their lives and the Genesis was practically destroyed. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. We'll give them the sending off they deserve. What is your ship's current status? Our ship is damaged. It is inoperative. As soon as it is repaired, we will return to the headquarters for the Stellar Summit. As one of the most experienced captains of the Republic, your presence is requested as head escort and reception of our guests. If this is one of the best captains in the galaxy, I have very low hopes for the galaxy. Each governing body of our universe shall be present. Each governing body of the universe. So the entire universe. Jeez, these guys get around. So they'll all be present and we will set aside their differences. We'll set aside their differences. Not we will. We'll do it for them. Uh, in favor of a new era of peace and prosperity. Do not worry, Admiral. We'll arrive before the visit starts. Very good. So, store. Space station panel is where something, yeah, is where all office services are presented. Able to hire crew members. Yep. Uh, remember to hand people in for funeral services. Or section is a possibility to purchase different equipment. Accept different missions. And the stash allows you to store salvage parts. Okay. Make, Make funeral. funeral. Make funeral. Funeral made. Nice. We got stuff. So. This thing's for store. Uh, Radar Mark 2 increases our accuracy. That's really good. Interceptor Laser Mark 1. Is this... Do we already have these? Or how does it compare to what we've got? Then we have Hacking Drone. Light Cannon of Republic Mark 1. Has a higher range than the laser. 2 per second, 2 per second. Wow. This has less accuracy, but higher range. And it does way more damage to hull and shields than the lasers. And we have the light plasma cannon, which does way more shield damage. Slightly less hold. Well, not just slightly less hull damage, a lot less hull damage. Uh, then we still have, then we have another one of those. I'll try getting one of these, eh? Oh wait, these these are things that our ship has, right? They're not. Wait, here it says store, and then here is a price for things. All right, I'm just being. A Tad confused at the moment. I'm going to assume that this is something we already have. Not something that we can buy. Because we seem to already have it. Then again, no. I've just bought it. So, whatever. I want a couple of plasma cannons because they're good. And I want the radar. Because it'll increase accuracy. What's with the interceptor laser then? I mean, let's have a look. It increases the range. Of that's not. That's right. Yeah. If all lasers fast and accurate. Its main function is to destroy the enemy missiles before they hit a ship. Ah. All right. So it is useful. Let's have a look at systems. So we have 
yeah, we have various guns on different parts of our ship. So we have mine launcher. Good thing to have. Nuclear missile launcher, which we didn't use. Pulse generator. Uh, what does that do? It's a powerful electromagnetic pulse generator that stuns any ship within range. Poking generator. Hmm. We have two plasma cannons. I just bought two plasma cannons, not realizing that we already had two. It's a question, though. Will we be able to upgrade our ship to have, you know... Oh! I just upgraded one of our plasma cannons. I'll upgrade another one, eh? Okay, so we did that. Now then, I want... About the mine launcher uh, allows you to create minefields. Mines explode by proximity and do not differentiate between friends and enemies. Ouch. I want to swap that out for the radar. And I want to upgrade it. Yeah. My reason for doing that is because I want to have very powerful, accurate weapons so I can mess people up really quickly. In the minefield, I'm likely going to kill myself with. We can add crew members. So... Wait, what? Oh, I see, yeah. There's a couple of vacancies here. And then in departments, engineering crew thingy, add crew member. Prep yeah, you. Uh, scrapping sick bay. I clearly want the best. Except for in research. We can put the worst in there. So in our engineering workshop, well, this is where we build things. Yeah, here we can scrap things. Okay, so I think I will scrap these things that I just now got that are rank one. Because I'm an idiot. Nobody needs healing, no research to do. Alright, so I think we've just worked everything out. Yeah, here's the link to the Kickstarter. Hey. Merta's walking past ha being all happy that she's not doing anything. So, uh... Accept the contract, the Antares Freighter. Oh, wait. We didn't do that. I am not very smart. Where do we go to accept the contract? Station, yep. Contract, yeah, here we go. I'm an idiot. In order to return, repair the ship, we'll need an ion reactor. This wouldn't usually be a problem if we had any materials, but this isn't the case. We haven't had any news from the space freighter E32. Pulsar repair ship in two Earth days. Our crew isn't answering any hails, and the last coordinates show it nearing an asteroid field known as Asteris Cemetery. We need you to find them. Right. Bingo. Exit and exit. Everyone to their posts, we must find that missing freighter. Captain, do you think it could have been an attack? It's strange. If it had been an attack, the security systems would have asked for a security detail from the station and they would have come to its aid. They could have used a signal inhibitor to cut communications. The asteroid cluster where the ship was seen doesn't correspond to any commercial route. Decree M22, under Republic law, restricts commercial routes in order to guarantee the safety of its freighters. This behavior would be a direct violation of Organic Space Law 412, Section 2, Slash 08. This is the screenshot mode. Okay. So that's the front of my ship looking all beautiful. Yeah, see, screenshot mode, yeah. So I'm, I'm in a completely different ship. 
because we're looking for this freighter thingy. Okay. We've arrived at the freighter's last known coordinates, Captain. There doesn't appear to be anything here. My, can you scan the area? I detect irregular radiation readings coming from the middle of the cluster. Let's take a look. What's that? What was that so icon looking, made? Yeah, here, this thing. Captain, we found the source of the radiation. We should proceed to scan. Affirmative. My, prepare the analysis module. That is not how I scan. Aim and hold the bright mouse button. Scan complete, oh, Captain. To scan it's a fragment of the Raider's calibration radical. But I don't think that I am doing it, though. I am 98% positive that the damage and radiation emissions confirm a plasma cannon attack. This looks like the result of an attack. Why can you follow the radiation signature? Comparing samples. Similar readings found in new Whoa! <laughs> Establishing root. I'm a particle effect. Okay, so we found the freighter. Off we go. Oh! Whoa! 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 No! 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 Quite like the use of sound. I think that symbol is for this for, like, thing. Charging engines and whatnot. Very nice. Whoa! Captain, we're being hailed. Shall we accept the call? Affirmative. Ex Cleo, commander of the Starship Insurrection of the Pirate Fleet here. I order your immediate retreat. This frigate is now under our control. Surrender, or we'll open fire. No. This is the captain of the warship Genesis of the Interstellar Republic. I demand you halt your activities immediately. Captain Stop Scott your criminal scum. Of the warship Genesis? In that hunk of junk? <laughs> You asked for it! Crew car! More power to weapons, fuck, fuck this guy up. More power to engines, Let's just gets a bit of distance. Before we come back around. And direct most of the energy. I am focusing a lot because weapons. this is very difficult for me. Boom. I wouldn't actually Before say the controls around. are anything like that, but it's just really difficult for me. Very quiet now, all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Scratching the paintwork. And there you go. Wheel myself away from that. And what do you guys think? Do you think this is a good spacey game? A bad spacey game? You can vote with uh, your wallets really because tumbling. there is a link to their Kickstarter and they do not need to, you know... Not okay, much so money. You enter what's left of the freighter as the bay doors close behind you. Within it, you find the remains of what used to be an enormous commercial freighter. You can see all sorts of supplies and objects on the floor, accompanied by what were once their crew. After some time searching the corridors, you come to a passageway with two possible paths. Most people choose to go left, I'll choose to go right. It's just a thing people tend to do in reality, it's left. Anyway, uh, so your crew and you advance through the corridor you've chosen. The further in the ship you go, the more you get the feeling you are not alone. After a while, you reach another crossway. We'll head right again. After walking in circles, you arrive at a hallway and a bay door that opens in front of you. 
Not sure why I was walking in circles, but okay. Um, though the door frame and still uh, through the door frame and still within the darkness, you were able to make out a faint light. Yeah, I'll just go in. As soon as you enter the bay doors, close and the lights turn on. At the end of the room, you see the raw protonite shipment stacked in rows that emit light, light rays of light. <laughs> they, they emit light rays of light. You, you might want to proofread that one. Okay, so a robotic voice surprises you. It seems to be the ship's MAI system. Intruders detected in the loading bay at activating security protocol, opening evacuation bay doors. Halt! We are the crew of the Genesis of the Republic. The AI waits a few seconds and begins to speak again. Opening suspended. Validating credentials. Error. They are intruders. Uh, I demand to speak with the captain immediately. Your charisma ensures your success. Captain, intruders in the docking bay wish to speak with you. After a few minutes in silence, the system speaks once again. I'm afraid the captain has been indisposed. Temporal register error E2J seconds. Since a plasma ray impacted against the command bridge, he is assuredly in the restroom. Of course he is. Establishing analysis. Probability of intruders not being identified as intruders, 100%. What? The bay doors begin to open and the crew and yourself hold on to what you can. The force of the vacuum pulls you forcefully towards them. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay then, we are intruders. 0% probability that intruders are identified as intruders. Establishing analysis, error. The AI begins to calculate probabilities while it seems confused. Only someone who isn't an intruder would claim that they are. If the intruder claims it is an intruder, probability protocol incompatible. As it exclaims different errors, you hear the voice shut down due to a logic error. The bay doors close. You are now out of danger. Mission accomplished. Load these up onto our ship. So you load up just the protonite on the ship and you look for a registry of what could have happened. The engineers search through a few working terminals left, but all the data seems to be corrupt. You make a security copy to be able to study it later. Okay. I guess they shouldn't have been using Apple OS. So, we're Let's done. Back to the station to inform Susan. What kind of pirates assault a protonite freighter just to abandon it? X player's weapons do not correspond to the radiation we've been following. Captain, the coded data seems to follow the same pattern of And that actually wants me to fix me want to get to game. Uh, I might do that at some point. Because that was funny. It's a very peaceful game when you're traveling. No, 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 no. Don't slow super, down while I'm so far away, you silly. Um. Just. I just, ah, when you're suddenly forced into combat. And then there's a little bit of humor with the uh, interactions and the things like that. I mean, I'm like one of those people that actually enjoyed No Man's it. Sky, but. That's a bit more straightforward and a lot less fighting. Uh, Request permission to dock. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Receiving. Okay. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. So we're docking at 10 again? Should I just smash into the dock this time? Might be quicker. There's a lot of god rays here. It's absolute, just hell of a lot of fog. No, like that's well, not really god rays. It's just that. Yeah, well, that's god rays right there. But. Okay, here we go. Pull in and pull to a stop. Wish that I had a brake system. Let's see how well it handles it. Very good. So, after arriving at the station, you go to the docking port where your ship is located. In it, you spot Susan, who rushes out to meet you. You've returned. Have you found anything? She looks at you expectantly, waiting for an answer. So we found the freighter. There weren't any survivors. They were all violently Susan butchered. They were violently butchered. <laughs> Susan looks shocked by the news. After a few seconds, she recovers and begins to speak. That can't be. I knew the pilot ever since we were kids. Were you able to recover the the cargo? Yes, we were able to recover it. Well, at least there's some good news. Our crew is currently heavily invested in the repair work. Since you need the ship as soon as possible, maybe your engineers could help us. Could you process the protonite slabs and fabricate a new iron reactor? Yep, we'll do it. So, 
I'm going to assume we do it from here. Yep. There you go. It has been done. She examines it closely. An excellent job. With this, we'll have everything we need to finish the repairs. I have another favor to ask you in the meantime until we, while we finish things up. Speak with me when you are ready to go. Of course. So here we have the ins inspection. Well, we have a long way to go. We should depart. Engines on maximum drive. Unauthorized order. You lack bridge privileges. So now I have a babysitter? Is the Republic sending you to watch over me? It's a matter of security, Mr. Huggins. The last Protonite shipment was assaulted. Captains are not what they used to be. If a pirate ship attacked me, there wouldn't be enough space for them to hide. We're sure of that. You will annoy them all the way away! He really does sound like a bureaucrat, to be fair. Gotta see for a prologue, this is like a decent amount of game. I wonder how much longer is the full game gonna be? Okay, here we are. The mining station. What the hell? These transport ships are not ours. It seems they found a more interesting intermediary than your company, Mr. Huggins. This can't be! We have to register this immediately! Hey, Capicky. Boom. I mean, the game seemed to want me to do that, so, yeah. When the foreman finds out, heads will roll. Yours? Is it your head that will roll? Captain, we have to go back to the station now. What happened? I forgot my lunch. Mr. Huggins. False alarm! I found it! Well, we do have an airlock. We could always check him out of there. Captain. There's no sign of activity on the station. It looks completely abandoned. We should dock and discover what's going on here. I'll stay on this ship. Uh, co covering your backs. I'm kind of reminded of that character in, um... Jurassic Park, the Telltale game, you know, the company that's totally not closing down right now. No. Um, the guy at the start no who's support. Um, supposed to get the the embryos from Dennis Nedry, you know. I forget the guy's name. Mr. Chadwick, that was it. Yeah, I, now I remember. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. I think we stopped here. Here we go. Doc 7. I would love a brake system that just gets me from low speed to standstill. Let's not bother being exact. I'm actually trying to make this, the job harder for the, for the game to actually dock me, but it's handling it pretty well. Dock bay's open. Dock bay doors open, rather, and the captain and his crew arrive to a great reception hall. It currently only has emergency lights on that show the remains of broken furniture strewn around the floor, forming large mounds of rubble. Yeah, yeah, okay, well, we want to look for survivors. From within the darkness, the crew discovers her, her buried bodies among the remains of the station. Upon digging one up, they discover that he is still alive. They came. We resisted. The man moves his arms slowly and pulls out his ID card. He offers it to you and finally dies. God, finally. All right, so we grab the ID card and yeah, we go. Um, yeah, so we advance through the hallways. 
guided only by emergency lights. On the walls, you can see scratch marks and blood illuminated softly. After a while advancing, you reach a completely sealed bay door. Next to it, you see a small keycard reader. It is currently inoperable. Well, it's, uh... We need to reactivate the energy flow in order to advance. Maybe we can do open a breach by firing at it. Or we can use a small explosive. I remember when we had that little ID card, but okay. Search chamber for an energy terminal to re-establish systems. After a few minutes, you find a room that contains generators. Head of the engineering team comes near you. Captain, we discovered an anomaly in the generators. We could use the remains of one of the destroyed machines to make them work again. Go ahead, fix it. Engineer's capacity to craft ensures your success. Team analyzes the damage with minute care and prepares a temporary solution. A few minutes later, they've constructed an apparatus that allows the energy flow to temporarily function. Great job, team. Let's continue. You advance through one of the hallways on the walls. You can see scratch bits of blood. You have reached completely sealed bay door. Next to it, you see a small key card reader. We use the ID card. You advance through the hallway and search the different rooms that you find. You find the bridge, where a log of recent dockings or events must be. The large computer that occupies the room is completely destroyed. You continue advancing through the, the smaller chambers without any luck finding anyone. No clues as to what could have happened. One of the workshop, singular, you find plans for a weapons prototype. Maybe your engineers could make use of them. Let's leave the station, there's nothing left to see. Yep, sour. We didn't so, find riches. We've looked over the station. There are no survivors. But, but this can't be happening. We have to inspect the last station. I think I've had enough. We should head back. This oversteps your jurisdiction, Mr. Huggins. You can come with us, or you can stay here. You decide. This is an outrage! Bounce. These guys are kidnapping me! To do your job! Pre preparing the jettison hatch for immediate exit. Alright, fine. I'll go with you. This is your job. Must I remind you? This is what you signed up to do. AKA work. Honestly, we could have just ejected him. Here we are at the last one. It looks fine. You arrived at the last station after hearing Inspector Huggins' complaints the entire time. You can't wait to finish the mission. Everything was calm on the station when suddenly a group of ships appears in the area. They are pirate ships. You recognize ex Pleo's emblem on their shit on their hulls. Maybe they want revenge? There's no time to lose. You order your crew to prepare to defend the station. Captain, the station is under attack. I told you we should have gone back. We can still turn the ship around. Control yourself, Mr. Huggins. We won't abandon any innocents. Crew, stay alert. We'll hold off the enemy attack. Sir, yes, sir. I am a ma'am, not a sir. Attack controls. Well, there's a while to get there. Let's pump the engines up a little bit. Wadley's hitting you. So the green one is I up think your general area. Balance out the energy to the shields and weapons. Wow! Here we go. Get in closer and two, 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 two. Look, last bit. Yep, you came to the wrong neighborhood. So, any more? So, after the skirmish, the mining station's director thanks you. Thanks, Captain. Those pirates appeared out of nowhere. We wanted to keep our prototype strength. Didn't want like to keep it? Okay. We're lucky you arrived when you. Are these effects normal? Responds in a minute, so. No. This area is usually very peaceful. The past few days there have been a few scriptures between pirates and trade ships. But this exceeds any other incident we've had today. Any information that could be deemed useful. Uh, yeah. you ask the director if he has any relevant information. Uh, he responds. Hooray! No You're safe now. Besides our protonite. Although an attack of this scale, it just isn't logical. Oh, wait a moment. 
The director disappears from the visor only to return a short time later. I've been informed that we've recovered an encrypted transmission on one of the ships. Maybe it'll help you. Yep, winnings, corrupt data. Thank you, Chief. Captain, the corrupt transmission corresponds to the rest of the data patterns. Is it possible to begin an investigation, Crewman Burton? The science team currently believes we have enough data to decode everything. We will begin right away. Understood. Yay. Yeah, we got rare salvage. Let's pump the engines up a bit. Just make sure we avoid hitting this. Oh, epic salvage. Right. Now. Let's just drop out of that for a sec. Go to inventory. Department. I want the best guy on this. Actually, we'll have both of you. And I want to take this. Research. Go. Also, I want to. Here's done. Let's head back to the station. Yay. I think I need a vacation. Oh, we got a thing. Another ion reactor. Increased engine power. Awesome. Back to the station. After a job well done. Let's just avoid hitting that. I mean, it doesn't. There's no real point in avoiding hitting anything since you just kind of bounce off. It would actually be nice to see some repercussions for hitting things, but I mean, that's stuff that can come later. Republic ship requesting docking permission, please. I'll just dock at the nearest one. Control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. By, if by assigned bay, bay you mean the closest one. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Let's just tilt over. Here we go. There you go. Nice and quick. Kind of reminded of this ship model a little bit of the uh, the Normandy from Mass Effect. You know, the overall shape, the four engine design at the back, kind of looks a little bit like the Normandy. But you know. So once back at the station, Howard says his goodbyes with few words and leaves the group. Susan comes up to you with a more cheerful demeanor. You're finally back. Inspector Huggins looked a bit out of place. Did everything go well? Is there any place in the sector that isn't ridden with death? The truth is that with the organization of the Great Summit, the Republic patrols have been reduced in order to be called back to headquarters. It's provisional, but it looks like it was enough to cause all of this. We'll present ourselves as soon as possible. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, we'll be present ourselves, sorry. Uh, Susan looks away for a few seconds, but then recomposes herself and resumes the chat rapidly. In any case, we have good news. It was tough, but we, our ship's repairs have been completed. I guess this is goodbye. Don't be strangers and come visit us if you are ever back in this sector. Of course, we'll see each other again. Lovely. I like they seeing people. They detect multiple signals in the area. Maybe we should investigate them before warping to Tacit Stella. Perhaps someone needs our help. That's an idea. Helping people is good. So, this here Yatling of the Republic. Upgrading it adds more hull damage. Increases its range. Yeah. 
Upgrade it. So let's have a look. Cloaking generator, pulse generator. We have our radar. Still have the mine launcher, another ion reactor. Which I wanted to upgrade a little bit. Boop. Interceptor laser. We'll add that as well. Why not? Yeah, I'm thinking that stunning enemy ships for a little bit is a good idea. Let's see, what else is there to buy? Hacking drone, light cannons, cannons. What's the difference between a light cannon and a regular cannon? Let's have a look. Hmm. This cannon's better. I'll buy it. Let's replace the light cannons with regular cannons. Because they're more accurate. Alright, we, we have another nuclear missile launcher, but it's okay. Can't we upgrade these? Interesting. We'll put on our upgraded plasma cannons. Can't upgrade them anymore. What do I? Oh, it's because we don't have the required material. No. That's a shame. Anyway. Yeah, let's see if we can help people out here. Now we're back in our huge ship. Go to where there's suspicious activity first. It won't take long to just check these areas. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Hello, suspicious people. Okay, so you spot a group of unknown ships after attempting to contact it a few times for them to identify themselves. They activate their shields. They activate. Now they're preparing to attack. Well. Activate the shields. All hands to battle stations. Screw them. This will be your last battle, Captain. I'll make sure to end you quickly. I want to get a bit closer to be able to hit you properly. That's my nuke going in. I want to see it go boom. Oh yeah. I just realized that wasn't moving. We have lost the shield. Oh yeah, we lost forward shield. Okay, so I see. We have a guy behind us. Apparently not. I thought we had a guy behind us for a second. Let's just uh, do this. Actually, how long does it take shields to recover? I mean, that forward shield still hasn't recovered. I mean, I can see that there's going to be a lot of... Uh... Yeah, there you are, 20%. Takes a while. There's gonna be situations where I'm gonna wanna change the overall orientation of my ship just to not present an easy target. The whole time I was just beelining straight for them, which probably wasn't very smart of me. Oh well. Okay, let's check the distress signal. I mean, our shield's not even recovered yet, but yeah, no. 
So, a transmission from a civilian ship interrupts an otherwise tranquil voyage. Captain, thank goodness you've arrived. A terrible disease has spread throughout the Koru of my ship, and some of its passengers as well. Sadly, we don't have a medic on the ship. It could be quite serious. Has there been any casualties? Yes, Captain. At least 20% of the crew have died. We don't have much time left. Oh, no, Jimmy. Oh, God. His head is inflating, Captain. <laughs> It'll explode any moment now. We need a doctor urgently. Hold on. We'll send our scientists. Your scientist's medical skill is not high enough. Okay. Scientists arrive at the ship and commence diagnosis of infected. Hours pass without any answer. Without any definitive result, and after a few erroneous trials, the infection reaches its breaking point. Nothing makes sense. Every infected presents different symptoms. Non pleasant. Some patients' heads grow until they explode. Others present protuberances that look oddly enough like Inspector Huggins, while others see their organs expelled from places organs should definitely not be expelled from. After a few hours, there are no longer any patients to examine. Crew, let us never speak of this again, understood? <laughs> yeah, let's not speak of the fact that my guys are completely useless. Alright. Captain, the investigation has finished. We've been able to restore the transmission we picked up in the slaver's headquarters. I think you need to hear this immediately. Nartos, Fleet Admiral of the Children of the Sun here. Situation Report Commander. Commander X Pleo from Lithobia 1 here. All preparations are complete as per your orders. Perfect. The Galactic Summit is nearly upon us. The wrath of the Children of the Sun shall fall upon the Interstellar Republic. I can't believe it. We have to relay this as soon as possible. So much cheese. Understood, Admiral. Although, there's something that worries us. A captain of the Republic is snooping around the sector. We followed him after his warp jump, but he destroyed our ships. <laughs> Take care of him as soon as possible. Now is the time for us to control the mining and commerce network. Send a pirate fleet and make sure that the Protonite mining stations are under our control and that none of the Republic stations are supplied. Break their will. And if necessary, kill them all. May the sun light your way, Commander. Praise the sun. We'll keelhaul them all. Ex Pleo out. All right, the voice acting is sometimes it's decent, and then other times it's like comic adaptation movie cheese. It's brilliant. Oh dear. We welcome you, Captains. The reception is awaiting you on the docks. All representatives and diplomats shall be escorted to the Senate chambers where the summit shall begin. I don't think we'll be having that summit, Admiral Xiao. The Children of the Sun no longer receive orders from the Interstellar Republic. What is the meaning of this, Nardos? For centuries, the Children of the Sun have been subjected to the whims of the Republic. That time has come to its end. We order your retreat and complete demilitarization of your strategic points across the universe. We've looked out for the security and common interests of the universe for hundreds of years. We won't cave into the scare tactics of a few bloodthirsty savages. Just a few, Admiral? Yeah, that's still just a few, but I mean... We've been complacent for too long, but that's over now. The Children of the Sun will no longer be led by an unworthy puppeteer. It's time to cut those cables and strangle our detractors with them to the last. <laughs> detractors. Admiral, this is high treason. Opposition to the Republic like this means a death penalty to anyone who supports your rebellion. Negotiations have ended, Xiao. Surrender or die. Nardos, be reasonable. This means war on a universal scale. Millions will die. The decision has been made, Xiao. May the sun light your way, Admiral. The yeah, children the of the sun the are attacking the headquarters. They're totally trustworthy. So, um, I can see yeah. that. I am um, trying my best so to hit them. What's 
balance everything out first. Let's just go for a full boom 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 boom. Oh, no, 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 no. Shield to bit. Turn, 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 turn. Whoa, hold on. Much longer. Our shields have fallen. More power to engines. Present a different side. The children of the sun are focusing all their fire on the station. The chances of the station resisting this attack are 0.057%. That one's fairly nearby. Boom. God, the face your left, left side to the... I need more power to engines to get a bit more distance. Hide behind the station real quick. I don't me. like the fact that they're I moving. Guy, he's not light of sight on me anymore. <laughs> Don't you be as bad at war as me and just stand still? Actions. The arm around one of our engines has been destroyed. Alright, wheel around. Structural damage to the headquarters rising. Explosion imminent. Captain, our shields have been damaged. We won't hold out much longer. Full barrage. Station has been destroyed. Our shields have fallen. You'll pay for this. Do you hear me? You will pay for this, even if it's the last thing I do. I'll get you. I got fallen. Captain, snap out of it. We need you more than ever now. The children of the sun are focusing oh, all their fire on the station. The chances of the station resisting you will have just by zero point zero five seven percent. Are you sure that they're focusing all of their stuff on the station, considering that I'm getting hit really heavily? Alright, face. Face. Heavy damage to the ship. Status is critical. They're gonna have to hit me in the front. The armor around one of our engines has been destroyed. The headquarters is at a breaking confirm, point. Confirm, confirm. What do you expect me to do about it? I'm also at the breaking point. Alright, I'll just nuke you. Structural damage to the headquarters rising. Explosion imminent. Admiral! All captains, focus fire on Dark Lips. He can't be allowed to leave here alive! Which one is his ship? The space station has been destroyed. You can't be alert. You'll pay for this. Do you hear me? You will pay for this, even if it's the last thing I do. I'll get you if I have to follow you to the end of the universe. Sorry, Captain. Captain, snap out of it. We need you more than ever now. You can hit my right and my left side now. Don't do that, Captain. I forbid the closing of those bay doors. Can somebody who's not me, like, be taking care of them? I seem to be heavily damaged. Just saying. I'm just gonna launch this nuke. Get 
Good old fashioned sunbeam attack. My situation analysis. Systems completely destroyed. Crew crew dead. I see. So this is it, right? MAR system. Proto protocol error. D -d damage. Easy. I'm here with you. Rest, my. Rest. In peace. Well, that was a <laughs> a fairly competent demo, honestly, and I wonder where it goes from here. So, you know what to do if you have liked this video. You can go and support these dudes on Kickstarter. Thank you for watching. Well, that was a very interesting uh, demo. And yes. What is exactly said here on this screen? Oop. Push that button. So yeah, um, it's a good thing that um, I got to try this game out. It's quite nice. I like the way it looks. I like the way it sounds. Uh, story sounds like it's a bit cheesy, but I don't think it's trying to be anything other than, you know, space opera style cheesy. Which is appealing in a way um i liked the whole sort of a uh, crescendo at the end where everything sort of just came together and you had this big battle and i, f I found myself struggling to orient my ship though um but you know i suppose when the actual game gets made you get upgrades to your ship for maneuverability you might have more ways of you know strategic fighting. I was always trying to present a stronger face towards my opponent. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. I thought this game was uh, frankly quite a breath of fresh air. I used to play games like Colony Wars and things like that on the PlayStation. And I kind of missed those games. This is something similar. It's a third person space game. But it's still the same kind of game. Well, I've already clicked this button. Um, I just clicked it again. And now I'll click this button <laughs> to get myself off the screen. So yeah. Um, I don't know who... Let's have a look. Who is it that, sa that says they're making this? Isolated Games. I don't know if you guys have made anything else before. Have a look, see. Uh, isolated games. I mean, so they're currently at 9,483 out of 26,981. They have 22 days to go. I mean, I imagine they might make it. I, I would hope so. So, yeah. I recorded this for Myrta because she's um, otherwise indisposed at the moment, but she'll be piecing together her own thoughts on this probably in the uh, recording afterwards. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye, B.